take a look here. So here it is. I have really poor cable management at the moment. I just wanted to get this video shot and out there on the web. Um, I'm running here some EVGA 1000 G3s. I have two of them. So this one right here is powering up five cards, the motherboard, hard drive, and these PCI Express risers I have. And then this one's just powering uh, the five other cards with the five PCI Express risers. The motherboard I have is a AS Rock BTC Plus Pro. I think it's an H110 chipset. I had issues with it. Um, couldn't get any display. Found out that uh, I had to start with the onboard display to get it booted properly. And then I actually had to put uh, almost like little business cards in between each USB port and the PCI uh, express slots. Otherwise, the metal would be touching. It was pretty poor engineering on AS Rock's end, but uh, we got it working. So, right now. I have, I'm mining Procoin, kind of doing, checking it out. I will go back to mining Digibyte, but I found Procoin and it looks pretty promising. I'm going to take a gamble and uh, mine it for a little bit. The only problem I have and what I found out is that Windows only supports eight graphics cards. Um, I know there is a update for Windows 10 that was released back in October that supports um, more than 8. So I'm doing the Windows 10 assistive upgrade for free. And that is actually expiring on December 31st. So if you have Windows 8 or Windows 7 and you want to get a free upgrade check out the Windows 10 assistive upgrade technologies and you can get a free update to Windows 10 legit key and everything direct from Microsoft and that is expiring on December 31st here in a couple days so that'll fix the issue and get all my graphics cards working at first I thought it was a problem with my risers but after researching I found that it's actually at the OS level is where my issue lays So, there's my MSI afterburner settings, running 80% power, 510 megahertz on the memory clock, um, keeping my core at zero. That gave me two extra mega hashes uh, for Procoin, which is just like Ethereum. So stay tuned, I'm going to get a better video of the process of building this out and uh, kind of go over some more cool stuff. So we'll see you guys.